morning guys i am super exhausted oh my gosh like September and I am currently in London Bridge Station on the way to my study day. It's around yeah 7 a.m. 7:07 a.m. at the moment. Um, it's quite an early start for me because our study days are all the way in East Grimstead, so it's quite a while away. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to today. We're doing um, some composites, um, so yeah, it should be good. All right, guys, got to catch the next train, so I'll catch up with you later. Bye. East Grinstead Hospital, which you guys probably recognise from my previous vlog. My favourite patient, Mr Bob, was back again for another voluntary filling. <laughs> this time he wanted a white one instead of a silver one. So I fulfilled his requests and we started off by drilling a cavity into the tooth. So as you can see from the photo, that is how the cavity looked and then we were ready to get going with the filling. So one of the main differences when doing composites versus the market filling is the fact that we need really good isolation in order for the filling to work. So this is achieved by using a rubber dam, which is the sheet you can see in the video. So this rubber dam just prevents any bacteria or saliva from contaminating the tooth. So firstly, I had to wrap some floss around the clamp. So this clamp is what keeps the rubber dam secure and in place. And then once I'd got that, I had to put it around the tooth. I did find it quite difficult to put it around the tooth of a phantom head because it had quite tight contact points. So I got Dr. Mo to come and help me and he gave me some really good tips. So when you come out, come out to the side, don't come back up. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, because otherwise it might bring the rubber with it. Yeah, which is, which is kind of defeating the point of pushing it to the teeth. Yeah, and then out the side, that's it. Okay. So we kept on going. In reality, you'd have a nurse helping you, which makes it much easier. I was getting a bit frustrated because the rubber dam kept ripping. You can see my face here, I wasn't impressed. <laughs> but I kept going, I didn't want to start again, so I made it work. Um, I was flossing it through, making sure it was nice and secure. Eventually, it got to a place where I was happy with it. Wasn't the best rubber dam that I've ever done in my life, but it was functional, so I made it work. Um, I also made sure that all the gums were well covered with the rubber dam material and then I could get started with my composite. So first we start by etch, prime and then we bond and once we put the bond on we can then get our composite material. So this composite material can tend to stick onto the instrument so sometimes you have to give it a little bit of a push to get into the cavity and then I put it into the cavity and then we use the blue light which is used to make the composite hard. It allows it to polymerize. Then onto my favorite bit, as you guys already know, is shaping it and making it look nice and pretty. So I started by adding bits of the composite at a time. So in order for composite to work, you need to put it in two millimeter increments at a time. Um, so it can take a while, and it can also take a while to shape it and get it looking how you want it to. But in the end, that's how it looked. Um, so yeah, I was just giving it a bit of a clean up and you can see that was the final result. Overall, I think it came out quite nicely. Um, I think Bob really liked it as well. So that's always a good sign. So that's the before and that's the after. On reflection, I feel in terms of improvements, I could have got better morphology and also closer shade match. Um, however, it can be quite difficult to get a good shade match on plastic teeth. 
but yeah that's that guys if you are enjoying the video so far you might as well hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more weekly content so that's how it looked after i took the rubber dam off and after a long morning of composites and rubber dam i think we're all tired and it was finally time for us to make our way back home hi guys so we're in the car i've got abby we've got joylin so we've just finished our study day it was actually really good we learned about composites and um, we haven't done composites in a while um how did you find it how did you guys find it it was amazing Mandy, that's Mandy. Mandy doesn't want his face shown in it, so <laughs> Jay, are you happy to be yeah, in it? Yeah, okay. Got a check, but yeah, it was it was good. Um, and yeah, yeah, that was it really. It was quite good. Anything else to add? Rubber dams as well. Oh yeah, rubber dams. So rubber dams, they're the most fiddly things ever. It takes ages to put on, but eventually we got there in the end. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Bye. So Abby dropped us off at the station, Mandeep actually decided to say hi and show his face in the end. <laughs> we both headed off to London Bridge Station where we were able to get our trains home, get some rest, ready for another day. Good morning everyone! So it is week three of dental foundation training, um, Monday morning, on the way to the practice. Um, looking forward to this week. Uh, I don't think I'm still going to be seeing any patients, but I think I'm just going to be doing more induction things. Um, I've met both of my educational supervisors now. They're both really nice. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to learning from them. Um, and yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, guys, speak to you later. Bye. So when I got to the practice, Raymond decided that we'd do another tutorial on composites. This time I'd do it on a molar um, and this was the before and after. He was quite happy with it overall. I, on the other hand, always feel like there's room for improvement in terms of morphology. But overall, I think it was a nice morning and I learned a lot from him. Hey guys, uh, so I've had a good morning actually. Um, I was doing some composite fillings with my educational supervisor. And yeah, it went well. Just been doing loads of practice and stuff to get me ready for when I actually start seeing patients. Um, I'm on my lunch break now. I'm gonna go to Tesco <laughs> and just grab a quick drink or something. Cause I've, I brought some lunch from home, but yeah, I'm feeling the drink. So I'm gonna go there and then back to the practice for two o'clock. Hi guys, um, so I'm in the practice. Um, yeah, no, it's been um, quite a relaxed day today. Um, obviously, still not able to do any procedures yet because obviously we know about the COVID and um, I need to be fit tested, which means I need a special mask before I start doing any procedures. Um, I'll put a picture on there so you guys can see how it looks. Um, I think, do you know what, at the end of the day, um, before we start jumping into procedures, it is probably best to just get used to everything. And yeah, I think they're really just easing us in at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's it for for now. Um, just gonna see if I need to do anything on my e-portfolio. I've kept it as up to date as I can, I think. I don't think there's any more to do on there, um, but just gonna double check. Uh, so yeah, all right guys, bye. After work, I went for dinner with Dr. Rumi Gill, who was the previous foundation dentist. I also managed to convince her to give some advice to you guys. Hi guys, so I'm here with Rumi. Hi. Um, so she was one of the previous foundation dentists at my practice and she was so lovely that she actually took me out for dinner. Um, so it was really lovely of her just to like ease me in and she was just giving me advice about foundation training. So I thought it would be really nice for her to share her nuggets of wisdom. So Rumi has kindly agreed to share with you guys. So I'll hand it over to her. Okay. So Ruby, what are your top tips for foundation dentists? I'd say number one, to be really confident, enjoy the year. Um, you only get one foundation year, so just take as much time as you need, get loads of experience, do the cases that you wouldn't normally tackle, anything you don't feel strong in. Yeah. Ask everyone in the practice, ask trainers, our yeah. associates. Um, get a really good network with your own FD. Yeah. In the same situation. Yeah. And just generally have a really good year, enjoy it. Spot on, spot on. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, we're off now. It's kind of late. Um, yeah, gonna go home. All right, bye.
morning guys i am super exhausted oh my gosh like i woke up at 5 30 this morning to get ready because uh, it takes me a while to get ready and i need to set enough time before i leave the house um, but i had a good day um, yesterday um, especially going out to dinner with Remy. she was super nice and it was just nice being like i guess just welcomed into the practice and getting to know everyone and the fact that she took me out for dinner was really lovely as well um yeah i'm looking forward to the rest of the day as you can see you probably noticed i got my hair done <laughs> uh, so when i got home yesterday luckily my mum she does my hair for me so um yeah we've just done this this hairstyle um do you guys like it yay nay <laughs> I, I think it's all right it's nice just a bit something different you know um but yeah i'm looking forward to today um my educational supervisor sarita i spoke to her yesterday about potentially getting into my youtube vlog i kind of explained to her what i do and stuff um i think at first she was a bit wary about it but i just told her it's mainly for like educational purposes and just to help you guys that don't have any clue what foundation training is like so I think she slowly started to buy into the idea and hopefully she does the video with me just explaining her role as an educational supervisor. Um, so that should be really good if I can get her on camera. Um, yeah, I really want you guys to meet her because she's really lovely. Uh, so yeah. All right guys, I better get going um, and I will catch up with you guys later. I just thought I'd give you a quick update before I pop into work. Um, so it's week three of dental foundation training already i honestly don't know where the time's gone it's gone by so quickly um i've been making my vlog so um i've been recording little clips that's why i haven't been putting loads on my story um, i'm gonna make it all into a youtube video um so yeah no it's been going well so far um i've really got to know everyone in my practice they're all so lovely um so yeah i'm excited for today and um yeah, I better get going to be honest. All right guys, have a lovely day. Okay, so I'm all changed into my scrubs. Um, I'm gonna be shadowing my educational supervisor this morning. Um, so that should be interesting. Um, yeah, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. This is Courtney. She's one of the dental nurses at the practice. Dental nurses are such valuable members of the dental team. They literally make sure that all the equipment is ready before the patient comes in. And it's really important to treat them with respect because they really do deserve it. So here I am, ready to go. Hi guys, so just a quick update. This morning was really, really good actually. I was with Sarita, my educational supervisor. Um, I shadowed her while she treated her patient for the morning. Um, she had a patient that needed some extractions and she also placed some sutures as well, which was quite cool because I haven't placed sutures in a while. So for those of you that don't know what sutures are, they're essentially stitches that are placed into the gum after a complicated extraction. I thought I'd quickly just explain that in case anyone was wondering. Okay, now let's get back to the video. <laughs> so it was a good refresher um, and overall it was a good learning experience. Um, again, it's a shame I can't get working on patients myself, but I think it is good to be able to shadow um, my educational supervisors and learn from them at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, I think more shadowing will be good. Um, and I've spent, I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon writing on my um, reflective portfolio, what we've done today. Um, we've had some tutorials as well. Um, so basically a tutorial is when you have a one-on-one -on -one with your supervisor and you just go through some topics together. Um, so I'm gonna have to type that all up um, and explain what I learned from it. Um, because if you don't do like 40 reflections, um, for foundation year, at least minimum 40 with your supervisor, then you don't pass the year. So um, yeah, I need to get on those reflections ASAP. Um, but yeah, guys, so far so good. Right, so I got started with my reflections. I got out my notebook and got typing. Um, luckily, I finished early. So Raymond wanted me to do something practical and hands-on. 
so he got me to scale his teeth. <laughs> um, usually I'd use an ultrasonic scaler which has water um, but that generates aerosols and obviously I can't do any aerosol generating procedures on patients yet because I haven't got the mask that I was talking about earlier. So instead I use the hand scalers. Um, the hand scalers they are really good they just take a bit longer so after I'd used the hand scalers, I got some floss out. Uh, Raymond didn't have much in between his teeth, but I was just a bit extra and just really wanted to make sure that I was getting anything trapped into proximally. Um, so I got on with that. I think Raymond was enjoying it there, getting a nice clean. <laughs> um, after that, I polished his teeth. Uh, so I got the polishing kit out. Um, obviously that didn't generate any aerosols either. So I was okay to do that. Even though I was just scaling and polishing, I found it really therapeutic and it was quite good to do something hands-on um, and not working on extracted teeth for once. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, oh since we're on the topic of oral hygiene, if you haven't already checked out my video on top 10 mistakes you make when you're brushing your teeth, go and check it out, you might be surprised. So after we were done, Raymond got me to take some bite wings of his teeth. I actually got told off because I ended up calling him Dr. Hardy by accident and he hates that. <laughs> so it was quite funny. Yeah, you call me Raymond. Okay. Don't Sorry. worry about this. <laughs> okay. Is everyone else says Dr. Hardy and you're the doctor. Well. <laughs> Raymond. Funny, no. Yeah, it's okay. Raymond is a good name. <laughs> so I won't be making that mistake again. So it's Raymond from now on. I guess some people like the doctor title and some people don't. But hey. Anyway, I carried on taking um, the bite wings. As you can see, I was trying to line it up to make sure it was um, at the right angle. And double checked it to make sure it was all okay. And then left the room and took the x-ray. Then I changed it to the other side. And I just repeated the process. The only issue I had here was the fact that the x-ray holder was slightly different to the one that I was used to using at uni. However, this wasn't too much of an issue because it just took some getting used to. After that, I processed the x-ray and Raymond's teeth were absolutely fine. Right guys, so that's the end of the vlog. Stay tuned because before next Sunday, I've got a special one coming up where I interview both my educational supervisors and they give you advice and tips. So make sure you don't miss it. If you did enjoy the vlog today, please do hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you on the next one. Bye!